What's up everybody? In this video, I want to show you how I named this base. And please subscribe. So to work on this project, I'm using Fusion 360 and it did give me some problems, but we'll get to that later. I was inspired by the sequence base design. I'll add a link to that here. And I was also inspired by Simone Gertz's um, plant or plant lamp, super cool. But I wanted to create a vase that seemed like it was stretched out and I wanted the shape to be very smooth and elegant. So that's how it, I came up with this sort of like bowling pin design. Here in the process, you can see the Fusion 360 actually crashed on me twice, which was you know, super terrible. I found a work around that. This happened when I was trying to cut the surface out of the solid body. At first I was trying to rectangle and then I decided to do just one section, uh, 15 degrees of the vase, and that worked out pretty well. Overall, I was pretty happy with the end result and I decided to start printing it. So I posted that time lapse on Reddit and I just want to thank everyone for the really warm responses that I got on that forum. R3D printing is a great community and I really enjoyed seeing all the comments that everyone was making and responding to them. I'm definitely going to post more of my stuff there. So thank you. Some people were asking what the texture of the final print was or print quality. And so I decided to add this little bit here. You can see up close, there's some waviness and there was even some delamination, I guess, because of the angle of the curvature. But at the end of the day, this piece is an art piece, so I'm pretty happy with the results. Now it was time to figure out how to attach the vase to the base. And here I was cutting a hole to allow for some of the electronics to go through in, in the tube. And then I, I also traced out the shape of the base and decided to use some resin to glue it on. In hindsight, I would have preferred to print a bottom so that it would be easier to glue on um, like a piece of wood or something like that. But I think that would be for next time. Here I try to use resin without any filler. And the problem was that it kept dripping down the the face of the vase which kind of sucked and i realized that i put in the wood piece on backwards so we'll give that another try this time i added some q-cell as a filler to make the um give it a, a higher viscosity to the resin so it would stick to the areas that i applied it to and this this time it worked a lot better so if you're doing this, I would re highly recommend adding some uh, resin filler. Now it's time for the fun stuff. LEDs! So I got these NeoPixels uh, 150 LEDs on the strip. And in this case, I'm using a little Arduino to power them. I printed this little base uh, joint attachment and then put a PVC tube. Um, and then swirled the LEDs right on top of that and it turned out really cool. I realized that in order for the power cable to go to the Arduino I needed a little spacer to space out the vase base from the base base um, and that worked out pretty well. So then I spent several hours trying to program it and get the, the right animations I wanted I was going for a Christmas theme because it's almost Christmas and I wanted to make a really cool like futuristic Christmas tree thing. Uh, 
maybe like an alien Christmas tree or something. So yeah, kind of looks like an um, alien theme thing going on here. So once I put in the base on the base, I flipped it over and screwed it on. The last piece was what makes it a vase, I guess. This is a little snake plant that um, I was able to get from the garden center. Damn, look how cool it looks. Kind of reminds me of a lava lamp, maybe? Ruby. So there you have it. That's uh, the process of how I created this base lamp uh, or vamp. I hope you enjoyed the process. Please let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.